Good morning, uh, Jeff Streck is here with LXV Wines talking about our newly released 2020 Semillon. So uh, first off, I guess, what is Semillon? Well, a uh, grape that's uh, normally grown as one of the white grapes of the Bordeaux region in France. Uh, white Bordeaux is often uh, some combination of Semillon and Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, in the U.S., we use it a little more uh, varietally. Uh, typically, we'll make you know more wines that are 80, 100 percent Semillon, um, and really just give you the true essence of that grape. Um, overall, it's a large clustered variety, uh, perfectly spherical grapes, which they tend to be oblong for most other varieties. Um, it's a very thin-skinned grape. I always uh, observed it in school as the one most likely to have uh, bees burrowed inside of the berries. So uh, if you're ever in the vineyard picking it, uh, always watch out and make sure you're not grabbing a uh, bee-filled grape to eat. But uh, typically, as far as finished wines out of Semillon, they're known for being um, fairly aromatic, fairly tropical. It's a pretty low acidity grape, so it's not one that's going to make you go like, Ooh, and like pucker your lips. Uh, not really a lip stinger. Um, definitely a better uh, pairing wine. Goes with a wide variety of food. Uh, although I think for me, I've always just been a fan of uh, kind of eating uh, fruit in the summer while drinking a glass of this sort of thing. Uh, the particular vineyard we worked with, Santa Inez Vineyard down in uh, the Happy Canyon of uh, Santa Barbara. So it's really tucked all the way into that cut right in the foothills of the mountainside there. Um, they've got a nice little uh, one acre block or actually I think even less, maybe like three quarters of an acre. And uh, we just get a couple rows out of that to make this for you every year. So this is our second vintage making it. Um, you know, I try to, uh, as with all of our small batch whites, make it in a little more of a unique and interesting way. This is entirely barrel fermented in uh, French oak, one uh, new oak barrel and six completely neutral ones. <coughs> so you'll uh, get a little essence of uh, the wood on there, but mainly using the oak for just texture and mouthfeel reasons. As far as uh, the actual flavors and characters I get off of this Semillon, you know, I'm initially getting a little bit of uh, brioche, just a little bit of that oakiness. Then I get a lot of uh, citrus character coming through. So I get a little bit of uh, brioche and fresh baked bread uh, coming through, just a kind of subtle remain of uh, the new oak barrel that was on there. Just lots of uh, texture coming off uh, our aging on the lees for six months. I actually get um, a little bit of a pop of uh, fresher citrus notes, which uh, I don't always get off of Semillon, but then I think on the uh, follow through, there's for sure a, a lot of uh, tropical character going on. So I think uh, this is a wine you guys are gonna really enjoy, being that it's already been uh, 106 degrees in Paso and it's only uh, June uh, 15th or so. I think it's gonna be a uh, really good one for you to uh, sip and chill with and enjoy. So cheers.